while I know that this is a big win for our city, uh, I know that there are many that are concerned about COVID-19. Uh, how do we navigate our way into a large scale event as we come out of uh, the pandemic that is COVID-19 and the virus that frankly is still with us. Uh, and we're just gonna have to continue to act responsibly. Uh, but as we've proven weeks ago, when we hosted the first, uh, f first professional sporting event uh, during COVID-19, uh, UFC, which we did in a safe and responsible way, uh, we'll also be able to do that with the Republican National Convention, uh, given we, where we are uh, with the effects of this pandemic that we're emerging from. Our percent of positive cases remain at 2.7%. Uh, while we increase the availability of COVID-19 testing, we now have over 25 testing locations in, a, in operation in our city. So as I've said many times before, you will, we can expect the raw number of positives to increase. But as I've said multiple times, the statistic to watch is the percent of positive cases. That data shows that we have in fact flattened the curve four weeks now. In addition, hospitalizations are down significantly in Duval County. Uh, I speak with hospital leaders regularly, uh, as every week, uh, sometimes daily, and the number of patients treated in emergency departments and in our hospitals uh, continues to decline. It's a, that's a data point that we will continue to watch and adapt and react accordingly. My team and I will continue to collaborate with our local, state, and federal law enforcement health experts to ensure that this convention is smooth, safe, and secure event for everyone. So let's celebrate this together. Let's get people back to work and let's showcase our city.